Hi tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. Today we're diving into the world of fiber optic networks and we are going to explore how they truly work and how to supercharge your own network to the next level. Make sure to stick around for some insightful tips on choosing the right equipment for your needs. Now if you're looking to upgrade your home or office network or just need a fresh tech setup, we are offering free customized tech design plan to all our viewers. Whether you want to optimize your home network setup or need more robust office network, our team of experts will craft a design tailored just for you. So let's start with a surprising fact. Is fiber optic really faster than copper cable? Many would immediately say yes, but it's not that simple. The truth is, the actual speed of your internet isn't just about the type of cable you use. It's primarily depend on your internet service provider or ISP. So let's unpack that. Your ISP could be delivering internet through fiber optic right to your neighborhood, but the final speed you experience can still be based on the plan you've chosen or the ISP's infrastructure limit. So this means that even you have the latest fiber optic cable installed, your ISP's bandwidth cap might be what's truly slowing you down. Now here's another kicker. Not all devices directly support fiber optic connections. So most of us still use devices that require an ethernet. And this is where a media converter comes into play. This device will convert the fiber optic signal into ethernet signal, allowing your traditional devices to connect to super fast fiber optic internet indirectly. And yes, you're still using the copper cables again in this last leg. But don't worry, next I'm going to explain why fiber still has an edge. And despite that conversion, choosing fiber optic has several major advantages. Firstly, it can transmit data at incredibly high speed over much longer distances without loss in signal quality, something that copper cables struggle with. Copper cables distance limitation is up to 100 meters, while fiber optic cables can run for a few kilometers. And also, fiber optic cables are immune to electromagnetic interference and offer better security against data breaches, making them a solid choice for sensitive data transfer. And as the speed capability of network continues to increase, existing fiber installations are likely to support new and upcoming technologies. Fiber infrastructure tend to be future-proof because upgrading the network often involves simply changing the hardware at either end of the fiber rather than replacing the cabling itself. Now in the real world, businesses, streaming services, and cloud computing platforms benefit immensely from fiber optic. These applications require a huge amount of data to be transferred rapidly and reliably, which is exactly what fiber optics deliver. And for all your streamers and cloud enthusiasts, Fiber optic networks can greatly enhance your experience by reducing buffering time and speeding up data assets. So do you want to upgrade your network to a fiber optic network? Now first let's talk about upgrading to a 10G fiber optic network. You need the right gears, and this includes a 10G small form factor pluggable, that's the SFP module, and a 10G media converter. And don't forget the Cat6A or Cat7 carpet cable to connect to your end devices for optimal performance. And if you're running for a 2.5G network, the essential remains the same. However, ensure all parts of your setup match to avoid bottlenecks. So now I'm going to perform a 2.5G fiber optic network connection and do a speed test. And first, our computers on both sides already has a built-in 2.5G network interface card. So let's do the connection. Here we have a 8-port 
2.5G unmanaged switch with a 10G a blank. Now this is the perfect solution to dramatically speed up your network to support 2.5G and optimize the performance of your multi-gigabit devices. Now we have the 10G SFP module here. Let's plug into our 10G a blank port and use our fiber optic cable to connect with it. Today we're using a full strength pre-made fiber optic cable so we don't need to worry about the connector. Let's use string A, each letter, each string has a letter on them. So let's connect it to the 10G of link port. Here we go and coming over here in between we have the fiber optic cable and connect it to the other switch here, the 10G SFP up link. And make sure you find string A and plug it in. So if you're really using a 10G network, that means it can support four 2.5G devices. So now I'm going to connect the computer to our switch here to form the 2.5G transmission. Coming over here, doing the same, connect this computer all the way to the switch. So the setup is complete. Now let's look at our speed test. So I just opened up our speed test website. Let's hit start and look at the magic. Here we are testing the download speed. And the numbers are jumping up and down. We are looking at the download speed and next it will test for the upload speed. So here we go. So this is our completed 2.5G network with the fiber optic cables. Now last but not least, we have a quick note on the capabilities. Now if your devices or part of your network are rated for 2.5G and you've set up a 10G network, there might be an issue because not all systems can downgrade smoothly from 10G to 2.5G, leading to unexpected drops to even 1G speed or no connection at all. So always check your device specification and compatibility when planning your network to avoid this pitfalls. So fiber optics is a game changer, but like any technology, it requires a bit of know-how to leverage fully. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insight. And feel free to drop your questions or experience in the comment section below because we love hearing from you. And until next time, keep pushing the boundaries of what your tech can do. And I'll see you in the next video.